Came in for an engine light. Like engine good or check engine or? What do you mean engine good? <laughs> What's the engine good light? Have you seen one of those? <laughs> Howdy, I'm Lemmy with Dorman Products. This is Nick, and today we are reacting to some mechanical videos we found on the internet. Nick is our master tech here at Dorman Products. He fixes all manner of things. I fix all manner of older, cruddier things. <laughs> Evidently, I'm being told that these videos have been plucked from Reddit. Specifically, the subreddits include our Ask Mechanics, our Just Rolled Into The Shop, our mechanic advice, our car talk. They've scoured all corners of Reddit and found us apparently the funniest stuff to, rea to react to. Let's do this thing, Nick. All right, let's do it. All right, what do we got here? Customer states, truck doesn't move when put in a drive. I'm thinking, really I'm thinking this is a trans problem. But. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Ooh, you're wrong. That's my specialty, <laughs> getting them wrong. <laughs> Incidentally, that was not a transmission issue. However, I feel like information customer may have not stated, also awful noise came from or is actively coming from the back of the truck when shifted into drive. That's that true. did not go silently, my friend. That's true, that's true. <laughs> Critical missing information. Yeah. Have you ever had customers do that too where pieces? Almost always. <laughs> I have to explain that, you know, like your doctor, I need to know all the symptoms or I can't really help you. Well, in the one, so sometimes I've had people be cagey about things and I understand what they're trying to do, right? They're trying to hide some damage that they caused. I don't like when this happens, but I understand what happens but there are sometimes this would this would be a good example right you're just asking the internet to tell you what happened with something did you not think to tell me about the enormous bang and loud right. grindy noise you heard right. in the back of the truck could that possibly have been related because it was around that time the truck stopped moving yeah <laughs> just saying Break job with please check tread depth maybe time to change tires on work order she got her money's worth out of both I do. All right. <laughs> wow oh Okay, that day she got her money's worth out of all the above. Um, Can you even measure tread depth when there's no tread? Yeah. How do you actually do that? Even if this customer elects to put the most inexpensive tire money can buy on this thing, the performance in the wet weather is gonna be so vastly <laughs> improved, they're gonna be very impressed. This I is also this an person. easy sell for the service writer. Like you can't, you don't really need any type of experience selling anything to sell these two parts. You've clearly never written <laughs> service. There's no yeah. steel hanging out of that tire. Yeah. Oh boy, man, that, these people are driving next to us. That's crazy. <laughs> All right, your turn. All right, customer states clunking in rear. Oh, oh wow. Interesting. I mean, yeah, no, there's really nothing to comment. It's just basically completely rotted out. And yeah, I, good luck with that. Do you, do you want to talk for a moment about salt on the roadways? I, I, I don't know. That, that thing looks like it's, it's more than just road salt. I think that was probably uh, somewhere by the, by the sea. Could be. Came in for an engine light. Like engine good or check engine or? What do you mean engine good? <laughs> What's the engine good light? Have you seen one of those? That was a joke. <laughs> <gasps> oh, that's really bad. Wow, missing a lot of frame. <laughs> Look where he's lifting it from. There's not much there. Sometimes there's not a good place to lift them. Like I've I've literally watched somebody lift a vehicle and it cracked in half. Right? Yeah. Like, uh, what do you like? It's not the incorrect place to lift it. There's just nowhere there. Well, wow, yeah, I mean, it's incorrect if there's not much there anymore. Do you get down on your knees when you rack a vehicle or no? Every time. I do too. Yeah. I've seen lots of people kick them under and go. Nah, that's this, crazy. I mean, if you're, theoretically, if you're on your knees under there and you're looking for the spot to set your... Yeah, you're going to be like, okay, we should... can't really safely lift this right, car. Maybe should, right, maybe we shouldn't have lifted yeah. it at all. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Customer states, AC doesn't cool enough. Mm. I hear you. Wow. <laughs> that's my kind of car. Firstly, if you, if you are the tech who happened to take this photo and you are watching this video, send me the year, make, and model. I am perpetually sweaty. This is the car I need. Yeah. I gotta have me one of these. That is crazy. Yeah, I mean, uh, general rule of thumb, if it, it, it's working properly, if it drops at 20 degrees. So if it's 100 out and your AC is blowing 80, it, it's working, it's good. General rule of thumb for me is if I can hang sides of beef in there, we're doing all right. Otherwise, it's busted. <laughs> Customer says there's a weird tapping sound after tire rotation. <laughs> oh, that does not look like it's in the repairable area, does it? It's enormous. Yeah, I don't know. I don't even have a guess. When I worked at a couple of the tire shops, question everyone asks, what was it? 
I always thought this was funny because A, what does it matter? It's not in there anymore. <laughs> and B, this was always a funny one. I feel like most of the people asked, they had a suspicion of what it was, right? You'd be like, oh, well, it looked like a screw. I knew it, my neighbor's a contractor. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> but I just always thought it was funny. Everybody wanted to know, and they always knew what happened. I knew it, I knew it. <laughs> Customer states battery didn't fix the no start. All right. Guess it needs a terminal. Oh, 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 can you see it? You see it? You don't see it. He doesn't see it. Oh, is that, is the protective cover still on there? Yes, yes. yes. I, you know what, that's not, that's not take, the worst. Take your covers off your terminals before you install them. That's honestly, like that's, that is arguably one of the best mistakes you could hope to see, right? No matter who made it. It's such an easy fix. It's easy to diag. Uh, that's probably good news for somebody, right? Like, it's definitely good news. It doesn't mean it's a good problem. No, a terrible repair. But if you, you know, if you were trying to fix a crank no start or no crank no start, whatever, and that was, <laughs> that was what was stopping you from the next thing, like that's great. Alrighty, so I think, Oh, looking at this, customer states, um, has, you know, customer, st customer states, whatever customer is going to state. That having been said, I think sometimes the relationship of what customer has stated and what is actually wrong with that car is all, almost always related, <laughs> frequently comical, and often not usually a not correct eye accurate. Yeah, not <laughs> accurate. Wildly inaccurate. More info is always better. Keep that in mind. Yes, and while we appreciate your guesses, all the symptoms are the important part. If you give us all the symptoms, it's our job to figure that, figure out what's going on. Don't forget that. I think that's it. So if you guys got any other questions, put them in the comments. Uh, if you like this video, please like it and share it. Uh, this is Lemmy. If you don't like this video, please like it and share it too. <laughs> <laughs> this is Lemmy, I'm Nick, we're out of here.